Oh, Hello, Sam. Hello. New video. New vi for yeah. once. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's go look at your uh, Mazda. Uh, yeah. I put a body kit on it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, at least we've still got the caddy. Uh, 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 oh. Wait. Oh, shit. That says Citroen on it. You put body kit on yours? Yeah. I just wanted it. I wanted a bit more sleeperish. <laughs> um, this is my newest purchase. This is my um, NX5. It's, um, straight swapped for the MX5. Straight swapped for the MX5. Wow. It's a uh, 150cc. That's more than the MX5. <laughs> it's quicker than the MX5. <laughs> right. In all seriousness. In all seriousness. I Tell us what's going on. I got rid of the MX5 for a mini. Mini what? Cooper S supercharged R53. I didn't like it. I also wasn't a big fan of it. I've had four of them. Um, and then I swapped the Mini for this. Which... I feel like we have to get a look at the front to like... Yeah. Really show off this swap. Yeah. It was a, it was a bit of a swap. A bit different going from stance drift cars and... Ah! Prickly! Shit oh like no! Yeah, the Escort's looking even more sorry for itself now. Oh so dear! We'll go and we'll do a quick one. Yeah, before we, before we reveal the, the actual uh, swap. Let's have a look at this thing. So, took the wing off. Oh, Jesus. To assess the damage, took the front end off. Looks like we're in banger racing. I just placed the bonnet on it. This is the damage. You probably won't oh, I've never even looked at this. That's bent. Yeah. That's a crease. Um, yeah. Oh, I've never even looked at this in this much detail. Oh, you can put these on your Berlingo. Yeah, mm. with off-road knobblies. They're on proxies. So anyway. Right, anyway. Back to... Reveal time. Back to that. Bosh! It's, um... Discovery 2 TD5 GS. Pre-facelift. Pre-facelift, yeah. GS meaning it's got the seven seats and the half leather seat. And seats and more seats. Um, All three working light bars. Well, <laughs> the, the light bar works, the spotlights don't, yeah. I mean, it's the most important one. Yeah. CB radio. CV radio um, in there. Branch deflector things. Here. Six, six ton winch. Oh, well, no, you have to. 13,000 pound winch. Expensive. Um, that's about it. Oh, metal bumper upgrade. Some inter turbos, <coughs> tyres. Mm. Two inch lift kit. Snorkel. This, yeah, oh yeah, snorkel. Wader kit. All sorts of shit. Drop hitch tow bar. Yes. Yeah, but it doesn't automatically drop. You have to unbolt it. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. That's, that's about it. That indicator's sat in a really funny place. It really is. Compared to that one. Might take that out and fix that after. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Sam? What's the plan? We're going camping. We are going We're camping. We're camping. We're going wild overland. We're going overlanding. Yeah. In this and that. Which brings Which us on to build. our next part. Yeah, let's go inside. Let's dry inside. Anyway, yeah, yes, the... Uh, the caddy. Yeah. Has been up for sale. For... Months. Since the last video. Since since the last video, the caddy... Before the last video, the last video... It's been up for sale no. since, since about December. It's been up for sale since about the last video, because we've made some videos since then that haven't gone out yet. Um, and I was in the up. Are we actually going to upload this video? This one? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Shit. We have to get back on... We have to get the ball rolling again. Um, Wait, the update. I've started my own business. Sam's now a mobile mechanic, if you want to... That's not focusing on me, is it? No, we're in cinematic mode. We're in rain mode, by the looks of it. What's your new business, Sam? Oh. Um, mobile servicing and mobile mechanics. So, that was absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm not even carrying on this video. <laughs> anyway, the uh, <laughs> the caddy is still not sold, so I'm in I'm in the uh, the rock box van, which I've actually started to fall for because I don't have to worry about it. The caddy I couldn't, the caddy I couldn't go off the the pavement. I I couldn't even get on the pavement in the caddy. So this thing I can go off roading and everything. So. This has been the new camper recently. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do a bit of off-roading. We're going to do a bit of camping. Bit of uh, some fires and that. Aye. 
Get some grand cooked up in the uh, in the van kitchen. That's going to end badly if you just start pulling shit. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> oh god. You got a shovel if in case we have to dig the dig the dig. dig, dig. <laughs> Can we please mount that to your car? <laughs> Let's just mount it to the side like they have all these fucking they have the, like the bright orange mud slip things. But we. But hey, you've this, just got that. This, this spade that's bent. Hey, it could save us in a in the necessary time. Could it? Possibly. Can we go to the beach? We could go to the beach. To the beach. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm stuck in the ladder. I will get this. You filming all this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's embarrassing. <laughs> if I slip off this ladder, oh no. It's going on You've Been Framed. It's going to Aussie Mine Reviews. Oh. Oh. Wee oh. oh. oui, wee. What is that? That? Yeah. I think. Uh. Why is there, why do you have such a massive end on your bed? Is it a self-inflating one? Should we have a look? Well, I feel like it won't go down again. But well, I guess we could just chuck it straight in your car. That's for the pump. A pump that screws on? The pump that screws onto that. I've never seen a pump that screws on. But fair. Should we have a look? We should probably take your back seats out before we start loading it up. <laughs> Let's take the back seats out. <laughs> Are we taking all the seats out or just the front, the back seats and leaving the seven seats in? I'm not taking in? the fucking front seats out, am I? No, but are you leaving the seven seats in or are you taking yeah, them out? Yeah, I'll leave them in. Because then at least you can get more passengers in, worst case scenario. Right, look, they're not really in the way. No. And you still can then put two more passengers so this is in. this camper. Sure. Or it will be, later. <laughs> at some point. Bosh. Who did you have in the third seat? Was that for Molly yesterday? This? Yeah. It was for today. Who? Some friends in there. Friends? We weren't out with you today. Oh. Wait, I have friends. <coughs> screen wash. That's a change. Normally you've just got oil. There's none. Wow. I don't even know if there's any in the engine. Check the spray painted windows for I don't privacy. Know how hard it is to take these seats out. Bolts. That's a cunt. I'm seeing bolts. I'm gonna guess it's these. Yeah. But Looks like that's the only mountain part. Oh, that is literally it. <laughs> okay, Dogger. It's dead. No, we have to do manual labour. Yeah. Oh. I I've been blessed since knowing you used to be able to use Ugga Duggers. We've got one bar of charge on that. Will one bar of charge get three bolts out? It's like five bolts. Oh, is that? <laughs> We're pushing it really. What's that out? That's a snap on there. <laughs> Missing half of my sockets there. They fell out in my car. So there you go, if you if you order some from mobile recovery service, it'll, we'll come, see with, if it's that side it'll come with some tools. We'll I think it's a lot smaller than that. I think it's T50. Maybe. Or a 30, isn't it? It's not a 30. Uh, no, smaller than that. Thank you, baby. Perfecto. Perfecto. There's actually only four bolts you need to take out. It's in the it's in the hole. <laughs> TD5, that's rusty. No. No, it's just killed my overdog. <laughs>
So we are going to have to do manual labour. Did that work? I don't know. <laughs> or did it just spin? This car's down or up? Forwards. How do you get in this when you camp? Did you get in the back door? Yes. But no, I climb over this. Because I'm usually driving. Yeah, true. I say usually, I'm always driving. Crazy, really. I'm driving. Oh, that one came out. Yeah, Maybe, that one's Maybe you should just loosen it and then use the uh, ratchet one to get them out. <laughs> I also love that noise. It's like, mm. has it stripped? Oh. <laughs> it's gonna hit your hand again. Shit. Yeah. These are in quite tight, these. Almost like it's a vital mounting point. Sounds like they've never been removed for some reason. Who buys the seven seat model just to remove three of the seats? And it's not even the optional ones at the back. <laughs> Where's the bolt on this? Oh, it's down there. All right, should we try that then? Should we see if... Red dead. So much easier. Well. <coughs> Never mind. Well. The rust squeak. The rust squeak that turns into a snap. Mm. My favourite. The squeak of the bolt. The bottom of the bolt staying still and the top of the bolt moving. Mm. <laughs> My favourite thing in the world. Apart from you, Harris. One seat out. Nearly lost a finger. Mm. Now for the other two. Come on, man. Get on it. I don't want to cut your floor. <laughs> cut me. Oh, I'll, I'll do the. I'll, I'll do the. I'll do the labour if you want. I just don't want to cut your floor. Basically, are you still filming? Yeah, yeah. Still we're, filming. We're, we're cutting through the carpet because neither of us are strong enough to pull it back. <laughs> oh, 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 we didn't know that was an option. We had to. Cut. Oh yeah, sorry, we're real yeah. men. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, use yeah, knives yeah. like real knives. We can't peel it back. <laughs> Watch your finger. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> and then fold the seat. We haven't even got off his driveway yet and his headlights have stopped working. Buy cheap LEDs, everyone. Forgot to film the camping yeah. and I didn't look at it. Turns out, but... So is it mine, to be fair? I bet. I bet that you manually pumped. Yeah. Um, two duvets, sleeping bag, three pillows. Comfier, comfier than my bed. <laughs> Honestly, this thing, best, best car. Best car. I've said that about all my cars, but best You have said that about all your cars. Best car. And it woke you up this morning when I started. So no, your car woke me up. Oh, but it wouldn't, let me, it. it wouldn't let me answer. You ended it. I pressed answer and then it just went off and I was like, oh, I've got no service. You said you were going to be up for sunrise. That was. I only rang you. You said. Ten minutes ago. You, I said we could go over sunrise at six and you said. I was up at five to six. I, I set my alarm for five to seven. You, you said to me, oh, I'm not doing that. So I was like, oh, I'm actually going to get a night's sleep. No, I set my alarm five to six, woke up, one time in windows, couldn't see, fuck all, went back to bed. Yeah. Woke up. Look at this, I can, I can imagine that there wasn't much of a sun. Woke up at seven. But yeah, we're going to go do a scouting mission in this. To find somewhere to cook for breakfast. Somewhere less windy. Let's go back this in the way. 
We could do that. I was debating that a minute ago. Getting a little bit more off roady here. Just a little bit. Just go, can handle it, eh? Alright, would be better. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. So yeah, anyway. Getting out. Getting to the point, we uh, woke up this morning, yeah. went and got some breakfast because it was raining where, where we well, camped. Well, we went to cook breakfast and yeah. uh, we fell into spoons. We fell into spoons and then found an off-roading place that was back where we camped. Yeah. So we did a lot of driving for no reason. Well, I got some fuel. Oh. You know, we're getting this affordable daily, 79 litres of fuel. 130 quid. It's very slippy this road, it feels very slippy. Nah, these tires are be right. You keep telling me road's closed, but uh, we're still driving through it. Get yeah. camera up there, what's that? Whoa. Open to all traffic, Anyways. brilliant. That's what we like to hear, eh? I don't think we're going to need low up that, but might do it anyway. I think we might do just for some of these big rocks. Bolingo would have got up there, no issue. Yeah. Right, we won't push it too hard. Alright. Because if we get stuck here, we're fucked, man. Alright, just a bit. What may look inside of that rock? Scraping on your uh... scraping on what? Your toe bar. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. That smack. Yeah, it just dragged it through the dirt a bit. Do you want me to put your step up? How do I do? Just kick it upwards.
Yeah, just make sure you get above that rock. We, uh, if you know much about off-roading, you might be thinking that we are doing this completely wrong, and that's because we probably are. We're just two boys that are into the Japanese drift cars that have decided to now be off-roaders. And he's coming. That was. You said get above that rock, didn't you? Yeah, you you got you almost got above it. I went through it. Yeah, then you bounced into it. <laughs> Is that what that is? Cheers, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still think the Belinga would get up? Cheer. Fuck is that? I've not even got my tools with me. Have you not? No. <laughs> I've gained tools from the drive. <laughs> Green lane in it's fine. <laughs> There's an edge there. <laughs> and then oh, a brick wall. Yeah, but not if we flipped it into the brick wall, I'd go in the bricks. I'm not a winch. I'd be in the bricks. I'm what are you winch. what are you winching to? You, <laughs> you stand at the top. This is so cool. This is brilliant. We need to mark these on the map. Are you going to are you gonna buy one? I am 100 percent gonna buy one. When? As soon as my caddy sells, which, someone buy it. Which no one's gonna do. That one in Glossop was for sale for 13 grand. Sam's going asking if, uh, he's just checking with the farmer who's right next to this lane, whether it is a like a green lane or whether it's private or a footpath. But there's tire tracks, so I can't see why not. <laughs> so is this a registered green road you went? Yeah, you'll be all right. If anyone says anything, don't fuck off, like. <laughs> See, if we were in a studs car, he would have been fuming at us. He's like, get well, out. Because we're in the disco, he's, yeah, go for it, lads. He's all fellow farmers. Go for oh, it. Oh, Yorkshire. <laughs> oh, this isn't that interesting. <laughs> it's not uninteresting. It's, you couldn't get a normal car down No. Here. The Bolingo would struggle. I'd be on the grass. Ah, so drop this, ready? Hey. Ba it's not so scary that I feel like I have to hold on to the old seat handle. Wait. I can't even reach the stairway. Get it quick. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll get my turn. Oh, bench. Oh, bench. <laughs> Anyone say anything, tell him to fuck you. <laughs> Sam, what happened? I don't know. Just pulled up to the, the coolest cafe, which we're going to fill. Aren't we? Aye. Right. Oh, this is a different one. Wow. Oh, 300ZX. That's it, bro. Oh. I don't even know if you're allowed in there, but it looks pretty. I think so. And lost every long time. It's okay. What? Oh, this one's for sale, Sam. 40 grand. 40? Yeah. Yeah. We're not supposed to look at these anymore. We don't like jacked cars. No, you're wrong. This is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. 
Manual. Is it? It's definitely twin, it's twin turbo, turbo as well. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And they're actually live restoring cars. Just had a nice coffee. Honestly. And uh, that was a good find. It was. And now I think we're going to do it in reverse. In there? I filmed the cars. Did you? Yes, I think so. Right as we went in. Oh, we'll just um, have a look now. Another one. So, I suggest coming here to any of you lot. Aye. The carding shed in Homeforth. Oh. Look at them in there. 